Begin with that developing story from Cheek Tawaga tonight. Several fights causing a chaotic scene at the Walden Galleria. Two on your side's Michael Wooten Jones joins me now to verify some of the claims being made. A lot of false information out there on social media tonight. Mike. Yeah, we want to kind of correct the record on that, Kelly. It was chaotic earlier this evening. It led to many stores at the Galleria going into a lockdown, closing their security gates and keeping customers inside. All the while, feet away, these fights were breaking out. Uh, here's what we can verify for you tonight. Chictawaga police say there were three separate large fights between disorderly youths that started around 630 this evening. That led to a huge police presence uh, with help from state troopers, police with the NFTA, Buffalo, Amherst, Depew, West Seneca, even Customs and Border Protection agents responded. Police made two arrests, one for disorderly conduct, one for menacing. And despite all the chaos, no injuries were reported. The scene now very calm. The mall officially closed an hour ago at 10 o'clock, although many stores shut down a lot earlier than that. So that is what we verified tonight. Here's what's false. There were no shots fired this evening. Many people spread rumors on social media that there was a shooting, but Cheektowaga police say that is not true. Instead, officers think a metal sign fell, and that is what caused the noise that you're about to hear on this video. This may help explain why people thought they heard gunshots. Listen carefully. Oh, it was right there. You can understand why people would think that was a gunshot. Instead, again, reports from police that it was a metal sign that fell. And we don't know exactly um, where that sign was or why it caused so much uh, chaos there, but we stress again, police say it was not a gunshot. A viewers shared videos with us showing, though, a moment ago there, a girl punching a security guard. The guard then goes after her. And we also have a clip here of a young man being taken into custody by officers. Everyone seemed to have their cell phones out tonight recording this. Uh, one young lady was trapped in a store for about a half hour. She described what happened to her. We were about to leave the mall because you could tell like it was going to escalate and then I heard someone scream and I turned around and I just seen all the kids started running and I tried to run into one of the stores and my friend was trying to run into the store but uh, got pushed by one guy but he held on to her so she wouldn't fall. Yeah, if it wasn't for the guy who grabbed me, I would have been on the floor just getting trampled by everyone so thankful for him. Again, police say they do not have any reports of injuries. NFTA officers actually escorted the public buses that you see right there, transporting the teenagers back to their homes. Now, this has happened before. Two years ago, you may remember, between Christmas and the day after, officers arrested 12 people at the Galleria for fights and other disturbances. Back then, just two years ago, Cheektowaga police told us they planned to meet with mall management to discuss the curfew policy because it only applies to teenagers on Fridays and Saturday nights. It does not, though, appear that anything changed following what happened two years ago, and then you have what happened tonight. Reporting live, Michael Wooten, Channel 2 News.